what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel uh, in this one we're going to be going over my ecu that i just recently received i got a mega squirt plug and play this is a do-it-yourself plug and play uh so yeah we're gonna swap them out i ended up getting that off of facebook marketplace for a decent deal uh not really sure the condition of it originally but you'll see as we go through this episode to kind of figure out what's going on if we were able to get it going things like that so stick around all right, so got our second mega squirt, got our original mega squirt down here. With our options connections, so we're gonna switch everything out here. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, double sided tape. Huh. Uh, we're basically gonna switch this out for that because this has less options configured already because it's do it yourself, and I didn't know really what I needed when I originally got everything. So now uh, this one should have everything I need already configured for it and set up. So. We're just going to plug this in to the original connection, make sure the config comes over as well as it's supposed to, uh, and then we'll start testing stuff. Make sure it at least turns on the car, the usual things. So slight differences. This is female and that's male, which is fine with that. That was male on the other one, but it's female. So slight differences, it looks like, but Nothing major. Still test out the USB and make sure that that's set up. I might have a connection already for the other one, but let me see. Let me see if I have one. I have a bunch of different things and I never know what I'm gonna need until I need it. Nope, this one's female too. All right, so got it plugged in. Open our last project. Oh, I need my keys. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's see if my GoPro is working for me. Let's see if it stays on this time. Five seconds is usually where it dies. So it seems like we're back in business. Cool. So I uh, got it plugged in. We see the blue power light over there showing up. So now we can turn this to the on position. Find that. Well, pretty sure it needs to be get the fuel pump on. There we go. Looks like it's reading it. Thanks for using firmware. So this is essentially whenever you get two different ECUs, uh, even though they're meant for the same car, they're built differently uh, the do, between the do-it-yourself and the do-it-yourself plug-and-play too. Uh, essentially, when you go through and plug in a different device like that uh, with a different serial number and everything, it's going to pop up. It's going to give you the ECU definition that you need to acknowledge, and then you'll go through, you'll get the errors for a second. That's pretty normal, uh, just because the devices are slightly different uh, and they don't transfer over exactly the same from config to config. So now we're just looking at the comparisons between the two tunes themselves. And once we go through it, make sure everything's exactly what I want it to be, then we should be able to plug it in, make sure that we're set, and then we can try and fire. Let's see if it starts. So it's reading it now. Looks like we're in here. I just want to see if it works. Oh, I have a check engine light. Nice. I haven't seen one of those in a long, long time. Okay. A few different changes in here, but um, yeah. Nice. So it seems like it works. Looks like we might need to play around with a few of the settings though. So we'll get on that. All right, I think we found the issue. The, <laughs> set the actual cable was not connected. So um, now let's see what we got, shall we? Hmm, and it's not reading on here anymore. And Tuner Studio likes to crash for me, so stand by. 
Okay, that's better. Now we see our sensors. Let's see if we can... Hmm. Oh. It's on there. Hmm. So we'll have to figure something out. Something is off here, so... Alright, we're going to go through the steps real quick of checking your timing when you have a coil and plug set up. Uh, because I have the new ECU, I have not set it up yet. I think the timing is off, so that's the main thing. I would think that they would be the same regardless, but maybe not. So that's what we're going to confirm and find out, because everything else seems fine. We're getting spark, we know we're getting fuel, obviously have air. So this is going to be our final test to kind of confirm that. Uh, but essentially what you're going to do is you will you still have your old system or any of your old plugs, you can reuse them. Uh, you'll basically just pop one off. Doesn't matter which one. I used the last one just because it was the shortest one. There we go. And you're going to cut the sleeve, uh, the sheathing off. So once you take this off, it should look essentially once you take the lip off, it'll look just like this. Straightforward, nice and easy. Just trim it all the way off. And then you are going to basically just go ahead and, oh, sorry, I keep dropping this thing. You're just gonna plug this in right here into the bottom of your existing coil and plug. It's not gonna be super snug in there, so just push it up as far as it can go, just so it's snug in there as you can possibly try and get it a little bit. You're going to push that into the hole, like so. I'm glad my timing light well, still works. Let's just kind of confirm that too for me. Hook this up just like you would a normal timing light over top of that. You have 1.6, I think you have this. I don't know if the 1.8s do. So plug that in right on top and then you can ground it to anything and you should be able to just start it and see your timing light come up. So let's give it a go. Now I know mine's advanced, so I'm not expecting to see this at top dead center for 10, but car doesn't care. Same thing just with the other ECU. Let's see if we can figure out where the timing's at for that. And then we should be good to go. All right, just doing a quick little video for this portion of it. I just did a firmware update. because so that's the only thing that's left that I can think that might have caused an issue. Um, so going through the steps, it's at least for a Mac and an older Mac at that, it's not too difficult to go through, but um, let me just see here. So we're just putting on our previous tune, which should take a few seconds, I'm guessing. Cool, it is done. And then we're back to how we were. So if you ever need to do that on a Mac, um, but the instructions that they give you, it's kind of a little confusing, kind of gives you the steps to walk through everything. Really, you're just gonna use Tuner Studio to make this easy. Um, it's probably one of the features they changed in here, but we will go to tools, uh, you'll make sure it's plugged in. You have the key in the, to the on position as well. Just make sure you have uh, the firmware downloaded. <clears throat> so to give you an idea, I'm just looking at all this other stuff that came up before. Okay, so you'll go to tools, update, install firmware. Oh, and very important thing when you're doing this, make sure you disconnect your coils. That is a known thing, just so you don't blow anything or cause any damage to your ignition system. But you'll just read, kind of go through the steps. You'll hit next. Uh, you can back up a project if you want. You'll hit next. It'll detect. It's probably going to crash. Oh, it didn't crash. So it should auto detect. It should pull up your stuff again. You can hit next. You'll browse. So I'm already in the directory of where this is at. You're pretty much just going to click on whatever system you have. So this is Megasquirt Plug and Play 2. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on this one here. 
Split open. It's gonna give you some options in here that are a little easier to see. So <clears throat> this is a do-it-yourself plug and play. So oh, I don't think it is. I think it's just a Mega Squirt plug and play. But either way, uh, this is the one I went with. Mega Squirt plug and play two recommended. I went to next. It gives you the warnings. You just have to accept it, keep going, and then uh, it will start. And then when you start that, and it actually goes through, your fans will kick on, uh, and then it should just be about a minute or so. And then you have the screens that I had previously. Should have started all that earlier, but uh, yeah. So now we have it. Let's just see if uh, it actually reloaded all of my settings back on here. Yep. Cool. All this. 2.5. We see spark cam input. Cool. 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 It's all the same. So um, yeah. Let me open the garage real quick, and then let's give it a go. It's still showing this not synced option, which is, I think, the issue I was having before. So let's see if it uh, made any... Oh, I need to put the coils back in. Just talked about unplugging the coils just now. Get these all back to where they were. Okay, cool. It'd be cool if it started. Still same issue. Unfortunate. So we'll have to keep going back to the drawing board. And that's it for this episode. So stick around, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.